Hey everyone! Today, we're diving into a super fun topic, hosting a dinner party. Our conversation today features two friends, Ryan and Evan. Ryan's planning to host a dinner party this weekend. Evan's here to give him some advice based on his own experiences. They'll talk about everything from setting the right vibe to food and drink choices and even handling those unexpected party dilemmas. This chat will be super relatable, especially if you're an English learner trying to improve your conversational skills. Plus, we'd love to hear from you. Do you prefer casual gatherings or something more formal? Drop your thoughts in the comments. So, I was thinking about hosting a dinner party this weekend. What kind of vibe should I go for? Casual or a bit more formal? I'd say it depends on the crowd. If it's mostly close friends, I'd lean toward casual. People seem to feel more relaxed when it's low key, you know. But if you're mixing in some co workers or new acquaintances, maybe a touch of formality wouldn't hurt. You could find a balance, something cozy but with a little structure. Yeah, that makes sense. What about food? I'm torn between trying a new recipe or sticking with something safe. Do you think people would be cool with something experimental? That's always the big question, right? I think it depends on your confidence with the recipe. If it's something new, but you feel good about it, go for it. People usually appreciate a bit of creativity. But, you know, it might be a good idea to have a reliable backup option, just in case the experiment doesn't quite land. A crowd pleaser alongside the new dish would definitely keep everyone happy. Yeah, you're right. Having a fallback dish sounds like a smart move. What about drinks? Do I go full cocktail mode or keep it simple with wine and beer? Honestly, cocktails can be fun if you're in the mood to mix things up, pun intended, but wine and beer are a lot easier to manage. It depends on how much you want to juggle during the party. If you do go for cocktails, Maybe have a signature drink that fits the vibe, but don't feel like you need to be shaking up something new every 10 minutes. A good mix of wine, beer, and one standout cocktail should do the trick. Haha, ha, true. No one wants to be stuck playing bartender all night. Do you think we need a theme? Or is that just overkill? Themes can be cool if they're subtle, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be a full on costume party, but maybe something like a Mediterranean night, where the food, drinks, and even the music have a bit of cohesion. It adds a little extra flair without feeling like too much effort. But if you're just looking for something easygoing, I'd say skip it. No one's gonna miss it if you don't have one. Yeah, I'm definitely aiming for easygoing. I'm thinking about the playlist too. Do you go for upbeat stuff to keep the energy going, or something more chill for background music? I'd say start with something chill as people arrive, then gradually shift to more upbeat tunes once everyone's had a few drinks and the conversation is flowing. You don't want the music to overpower the vibe, but it should keep the energy up. As the night progresses, if you've got Spotify or something, you can set up a playlist that does the job without you having to DJ all night. Smart. I'll definitely set up a playlist ahead of time. Oh, and should I ask people to bring something, or is that kind of tacky? Nah, I don't think it's tacky at all. In fact, most people feel better when they contribute something. You could ask for drinks or a dessert if you're handling the main meal. It keeps things balanced, and honestly, it takes a little pressure off you. 
Just make sure it's clear you're not asking for anything too specific. Give them the freedom to bring whatever they're comfortable with. True. I guess most people like chipping in. Do you usually plan out some kind of activity or just let things flow naturally? I usually let things flow naturally, but having an idea in your back pocket isn't a bad move. Sometimes people like a little structure, especially if they don't know each other well. A simple game or even just a topic of conversation can keep things moving if there's a lull. But yeah, I wouldn't overplan, just keep it in mind in case things slow down. Yeah, I'll keep it loose. What's your take on seating arrangements? Should I plan that out or let people choose where they want to sit? Honestly, unless it's a formal dinner, I'd let people sit wherever they want. People are pretty good at figuring out where they're comfortable. If you're worried about cliques forming, you could suggest some seating options casually, but I wouldn't stress too much about it. Just make sure there's enough space for everyone to sit and chat comfortably. That's a relief. I'll definitely keep it flexible. Should I have some sort of appetizer or snack ready for when people first arrive or just go straight to the main meal? Definitely have some light snacks or appetizers ready. People like to munch while they chat and it gives you a bit of breathing room before serving the main meal. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, a cheese board, chips and dip, or even some fresh veggies can hold everyone over while you're finishing up in the kitchen. That's easy enough. How do you deal with different dietary preferences or restrictions? Do you cater to everyone or just offer a couple of options? I think offering a couple of options is the way to go. You don't need to cater to every single preference, but having one or two vegetarian or gluten-free options can make a huge difference for your guests. It shows you've thought about everyone without making the whole meal revolve around restrictions. And it doesn't have to be hard, a big salad, some roasted veggies, or a gluten-free side dish usually does the trick. Yeah, that seems manageable. Do you think it's better to have a set in time for the party or just see how the night unfolds? I'd say let the night unfold naturally, but if you're worried about things dragging on too late, just set an informal end time in your head. You can always start wrapping things up by offering coffee or dessert. People usually get the hint. But honestly, the vibe will let you know when it's time to wind down. That's true. And what about cleanup? Do you handle it as you go or just leave it for the next morning? I'm definitely a leave it for the next morning kind of person. It's a party. No one expects you to be scrubbing dishes while they're still there. Maybe tidy up a bit during natural breaks, like clearing plates after the meal, but don't feel like you need to be on cleaning duty the whole time. Enjoy the party first, clean up later. Thanks so much, Evan. You've really given me some great idea, S, and helped ease some of the stress. I'm feeling more confident about this dinner party now. No problem, man. Hosting's all about keeping things fun and relaxed. I'm sure it'll be a great time. Just remember, it's about the people, not the perfect presentation. That's true. I'll definitely keep it laid back and focus on enjoying the evening. Thanks again. Anytime. And hey, to all of you watching, let us know in the comments how you like to host or what your biggest party tip is. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun conversations like this.